communicate with Christian Firth of GC Strategies. I honestly don't know. Um, when a soldier is told to go and make something happen, but I can tell you most of what I corresponded with Mr. Firth, now that I know it's a two-person company, which I had no access to, um, no, but it explains the level of ineptitude in the very poor documentation received at the CBSA, things like invoices, things like timesheets, things like, you know, delays in responding to us. There's multiple things we had to coordinate for a package. And if I'm told this invoice came in, it's not right, I would have to reach out to whatever the supplier was to get it fixed. And you would do that by phone or by email? If phone or email, never in person. Okay. Um, so we've heard evidence about government officials receiving hospitality from Christian Firth. So um, not solicited, but him sending and uh, vir do, arranging virtual whiskey tasting, sending whiskey to people's homes. Um, were you ever afforded any of that hospitality? No. And were you invited uh, in your role to any dinners that were provided to any of your other colleagues in government? So we heard testimony that in some cases they... They met at uh, bistros and coffee shops and steakhouses. Were you given any invitations to those events? No. And so you didn't partake in any of no. them? No. Did you know that any of these events were taking place? No, if I had, I would have said something. Um, are you aware now that your supervisors were uh, taking part in that hospitality? From testimony, yes. When Mr. Firth appeared uh, at the Government Operations Committee, um, he refused to name the individual that was helping him and GC Strategies to write their own contracts. That refusal to give the name was one of the, re the reasons that he was found to be in contempt uh, and saw the matter elevated to him being a called to the bar of the House of Commons to answer questions. Why would he hide your name from Canadians in his testimony knowing that uh, he, would, he would be found in contempt? Uh, that's a good question. It's kind of like the question I have about why am I being investigated to try and, you know, give false testimony about two former bosses? Why am I being investigated and put on administrative leave? I didn't do anything wrong. I continue to go to work. I would ask that question of those in the CBSA management team, those in the PSPC management team who decided to investigate me. So what changed between his appearance at OGO and his appearance in the House when he refused to name you and then when he did name you? I have no idea. You agree that you are the correct person for him to have named in relation to them being assisted in creating that contract? I did not have the expertise to know what an IT anything was. So if Mr. Firth sent me anything, it would have been forwarded on to IT services. So who, who should, so the Auditor General made reference to um, GC Strategies having someone, uh, having a government official write a contract um, uh, having GC strat assist GC Strategies in writing a contract that they were ultimately awarded. Who was it, if it wasn't I, you? I don't know, but I want to tell you again, and I'll reiterate my statement. We went, uh, there was myself, the manager of BTID DGO, and her administrative officer were sick and tired of the very poor documentation from GC Strategies. I want to make it very, very clear that we said, can we cancel this request for proposal? We did. We booked an MS Teams meeting. And we asked that GC Strategies not be awarded that. So my last question. Do you think that you were singled out by CBSA officials to take the fall for this and that that was communicated to Mr. Firth in between his appearance at OGO and his appearance in the House and that's why your name was given to him? M Ms. Daly, he, how, how would he even remember you if you'd only communicated one time if, his na if your name wasn't given to him by your superiors in an attempt to uh, to uh, to clear their own to clear their own names. I don't know what people are up to. I, I I don't get into this political back and forth. All I know is I dealt with Christian Firth on multiple occasions for incorrect invoices. Not just me, CBSA, DGO, admin staff. 
this is, shows why there's only, there were so many problems is they're a two-person company. And you'd have to go back to TBIPs and how they do their catalog and their vetting to really say, it's just, is this the tip of the iceberg? Thank you very much. Uh, 